Hey everybody, it's your Sam and I'm here with another video. This is going to be the second part of the Elephant Wasteland map. For those of you that don't know, I will link in the cards above the first part of this video. The making of Elephant Wasteland, which is a game that I have in my project Isekai Detective. This game is important because it's one of the games where some characters get trapped and they have to play through it in order to escape and all that good stuff. That's... So I hope you enjoy the second part of creating the Elephant Wasteland map. Alright, so now we're going to do... Now we're going to do deities and you're going to roll to see how many each faction believe in and then down here you're going to roll to see which domain each deity has. Since locomotives was the last that I put on here I'm going to go to the note tool and I'm going to put the note right above the locomotives here and let's see how many deities they believe in. I rolled a one so they believe in only one. Let's roll the d6 again to see what this deity is over, whether it's over geography, something in nature, craft or art, an endeavor, something around the home, or something grim. I rolled a 4, so it's an endeavor. So, since the locomotives are travel, pretty much, let's do God of Travel. I'll name him later. Alright. So that's the locomotives. Let's see, and let's see who the islanders have. How many do the islanders believe in? I rolled a one again. Okay. Let's see what their deity has power over. A one, which is geography. So let's do, let's do a goddess of water. All right. Now, the naturals. How many do they believe in? Now, this is the scientists and all I guess they believe in one too. Might need to get a new dice because... Four. So, theirs is an endeavor as well. War, travel, the hunt, harvest, games, music. Let's see, the naturals. Let's do knowledge. Let's do a goddess of knowledge. The arenas here. How many deities do they believe in? I rolled a two, so they have two. So the first one is going to be something in nature like a sun moon storm mushrooms animals birth so let's do god of the sun and then the next deity is going to be something grim like death grave night underworld cannibalism nightmares so let's do goddess of death so it kind of can kind of be a life or death kind of situation. And then let's see what the inmates have. Wow, they believe in three. So the first one is going to be a something grim. So let's do God of do God of Murder. What's the next one? Is a one, which is geography. So let's do a goddess of goddess of rivers. And the third one is going to be something in nature. So let's do another goddess. Let's just do a random goddess of nature. They all have their gods now. Now we need to pick a symbol for each deity. I'll probably end up doing that later because I don't know. That's just not really something that interests me right now. Alright, and I'll name them later too. Alright, each one 
is its own little hostile neighbor here. So we're not going to do more hostile neighbors. What we will do though is roll twice for each faction as to where their two main settlements are. First, let's do the let's do the naturals. We know that one's going to be in that little forest area, but where's the next one going to be? We have a six, and it's a religious site, so a monastery or a temple or something like that. Let's do let's do Elven because it's awful pretty, and we will do the symbol right here, which is a fountain, which is fitting, right? Oh, that's awful big. Okay, so make it a little bit of smaller. We'll move it into the center here. Okay. So they have a religious site here. And who are their gods? Let's see. The goddess of knowledge. So oops, nope. So their deity is the goddess of knowledge. So let's do That's their that's their town. So it's a little bit smaller. Okay. Alright. And then we need another town for them. So they get a four, which is a trade post, like a, a market or a bazaar or something like that. Let's open the catalog. Okay, what can be seen as like a trade? Do statues? No. Let's do a table. So this will be their trade town. There we go. Let's do the islanders. One, food production, farm, fish, and all that good stuff. Let's do another stamp. So let's do let's do that one. Make it a little bit bigger so you can actually freaking see it on the map, right? Okay, so let's do that as their little food production area. So this can be called what can it be called? Let's do Scales Village. And then another one. There's a two. Is a mining settlement. Hey, let's do this little symbol right here. And it will be a Minerton. Right, right. Okay. Let's do the inmates next. Two. They have a mining settlement too. So they have a Minerton as well. And what is do? Huh. Hmm. Green coconuts. Booze. We'll do the coin symbol. Okay. And then their next one is another one. All right, let's do the arenas. One is for food production. Let's say this is Dead McDonald's. And then we will do another one. Four is going to be another trade post, so let's put it a little bit closer to here. 
and we will use this symbol again for another trade market two for them and then we've got locomotives so we have another trade post so we'll go back up here get this symbol we'll do a little bit closer down here and then do another text and it'll be locomotives traders and then what is their next town a five military perfect 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 okay do we have anything that one's gonna look like hey look trains <laughs> that's a purple train really let's do a purple train oh, turn you around a little bit and then if you're just slightly smaller it will move you right over here so that's our main thoroughfare right there okay now this is pretty much done this is most of what i needed to do because era four is the age of discovery these people already hate each other enough that we don't need to add anything more to them but these people are locomotives these people are tribal and they travel so i need to depict where they're going to travel to now seeing as how they are mobile most of the time they're going to have the most trails and i want to do let's do a green for them I like that really dark green there okay and we will do from knowledge here are we are we gonna draw that doesn't show up very well at all so let's change that shows up better okay so that and then we go here they go to the lenders and meter signs and over here and they can also do from here over to the locomotives there we go okay and then maybe from around here over to the meter signs and maybe from here to there as well So that's their trails. Now the locomotives also need something, so I'm going to do them as no. <sighs> Let's do solid and we'll do black for the locomotives. I wonder if there's open catalog tracks. Not really. I mean there's these. I'm not going to show up very well though. So lines it is. Alright. So we'll do straight here. Straight to here. Nope. I'll do. I'll do. They do all the trade markets. And the mining town. Okay. And then. I also have the all powerful encompassing elephants. It's right here. So we're going to do large size of these guys. I can't really change the colors, but the islanders have one. There we go. Naturals probably have one way over here, but they're not really in control over it. And we'll put one right here, close to the locomotives. I did make one before, so we just kind of make another one. But this is going to be technically what my map looks like for Elephant Wasteland, which is the game that's going to be in Isekai Detective. And it's just for me to have a visual, and I kind of needed that in order to move forward with the next few chapters of my story, because Vera is going to be delving into this 
game for a few days in the book. Thank you for watching as per always. I know this is really boring and it's probably only interesting to me. I do apologize for that. But if for some odd reason this interests you and you want to hear more about Isekai Detective and my other projects, make sure to subscribe, ring that bell so that you will be notified when I upload a video. I will try to get better at Incarnate in all map making skills, but I'm making no promises. Thank you for watching and as always, be kind to one another out there. Be kind to yourself. Keep writing, keep being creative, and I will see you next time.